and let's see what we can now what we can work you've, on. You've already addressed the issue why we don't have those structures, yes. and you've already made mention of those structures. Yes. Now, why is it that those artists do not want to go into such long-term deals? It's not. Again, I will say subject. <laughs> no, I will say the Nigerian <laughs> factor again. All right. So, I'll use myself as an example. I say I'm an artist. All right. I'm hungry. I, I want to be successful. When I say hunger, I'm not talking about stomach. I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I need something. And I'm thinking, I, I would tell Just or Sam anything just to get me on their label. Mm. Yes. Say that again. I will get, terrible. I will get to say anything. I promise anything just to get on the record label. Wow. So there are very few people that... That's why you, you don't have a lot of success stories. It's always a case where... You have issues with the, the, the artist has an issue with the label, but you signed a document. You, you, you must have read through. You knew what the terms and conditions were when you went to that binding engagement. So you've signed that. One year down the line, when you walk down the street, the whole area knows you. You're, you're famous. You're popular. You start having ideas of your own. You're thinking, <laughs> um, I can understand. I'm a star. Why do I even have to sign why a contract? Do I need them? Why, why do I need that contract? But remember, so I always tell people that for me, I've never, I've never really signed anything that has to be a, like an artist record label kind of deal. I've never, I've, I just manage because I feel it's just easy on the artist. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get down into now. We'll, we'll get down into that. We go down yeah. into yeah. into business. Yeah. What does it really take to just be a management company? Because you said there are no structures. Yes. But we only have management. So what exactly does that management encompass of? Okay. So we don't mix it most, up. Most artists are, are what, what I like to say, self-sufficient. So okay. if you, the money you use for your videos, for your PR, for your photo shoot, name it, is money that is coming from your earnings. Your earnings as the artist? Yeah, yeah. Or the management? No, no, no. It's coming from the artist's earnings. Are you, Even saying, the are you saying before you comes, came on board, you have to bring some certain amount of money to the table? Oh no, I'm saying I'm, I'm, now nah, I'm not because talking I don't about. Get that. I'm not talking about upcoming artists now because okay, that's, a, that's, that's, well that's, that's a whole different conversation. Okay. But when you're talking about established artists, all the money you have for your PR, for your, you know, upkeep, whatever, your video shoots, they all come from money you earn, right? So if if you if you have a situation where the, the, the management, so to speak, is, um, um, how, how, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be careful, you know, <laughs> how I frame certain things. Okay. But if you have a situation where, where the, the, the management is limited, so to speak, by the artist's expectations, not expectations, actions, so to speak. I, I like to say artists, I like to artists dream big. In fact, have the biggest dream in this world. I even like to work with that kind of person that you, if you tell me you want to break Michael Jackson's record, record if you're ready to put in the work, I'm good. Let's, let's, let's go. I mean, let's say aim for the stars but shoot higher, right? So, so when you fall, you, you, know, you know where to land. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so for me, that's, that, that's, 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 that's why, that's, that's how I believe in a, in a in a in the Nigerian situation, the upcoming artist has that problem of being able to what's the word keep up with what is expected from a management company, in the sense that if all the funds are coming from the business you're running, who that, who is going to put the money down the first time? Hmm. The, the first time who put the now, money down? Now this brings me to the question. Yeah. On an average, how much is required to promote a project? For instance, a single. Properly? Minimum 10 million. 10 million? Minimum. Give us a breakdown on how that 10 million will be spent. In fact, if I, this break, 10 million is only radio. I've not even gone into TV. Are you for real? Yeah. Radio? Yeah. Why do I have to pay for radio when I have TV? No, I'm saying. 10 million? You see, go up in 10 million to radio. You've not shot your video yet. This is just for publicity. You don't shoot the video. Video on the average will cost you seven million naira on the average. For just one video. Yeah. Hmm. 
if not more it just depends on just depends on who who is shooting or what you expect okay. from the okay. video it just depends so okay. on the average it cost you five to seven million to shoot a video in today's market yeah so it just gives you an idea for one project if not talked of studio sessions paying the producer praying paying the, for the photo shoot you know so already when i see minimum 10 million i'm just trying to be very very fair sometimes you spend up to 20 30 million hmm. to get that's, that is an artist that is not established. Because some other artists, once you're like A-list, B-listers, yeah. yeah. what happens is your name just carries you your project. You just leverage on your project. That's true. So it's not every, so when, you're, when, you're, when you decide you want to release your content, some people want to use you to make news too. Sure. So, the, so without necessarily paying. not yet established. Yeah, so without necessarily paying for it, they just take your content and use it. But try, you're coming up. What's responsible for that? Finances. Just, just money, nothing else. It's just money. But this is what I try to tell people. Like, I get. What if they say they are, What if you say it is just money? But they have this thing to show that they are talented. Why shouldn't the management be attracted, so to speak? Okay, now this is because thing this now. is what they are looking for as management company. Yes. Right. Yes. So now, I will ask. This is me asking. Let me play the devil's advocate and ask the artist. How do I trust? that if I risk my money on your project, you will not burn me. Mm. How, how do I trust that? Obviously, they have... Um, a number of them cannot even answer that obviously question. Yeah. They obviously, because they should have All they something. have in their head is, I want to make fame. I want, I want to be successful. That's all. But uh, can you assure me they don't. that if I risk my time, my money, my contacts, and all of that, if I risk all of that, can you assure me that I will not get burned by you reneging on any contract we have at the end of the day? Okay, most now let's, let's, that. Let, let, let's go into more deeper questions. We know now that most times fans are no longer interested in downloading songs online. They just prefer to go to shows where they can interact with this artist live and all that. Why is that so? Because obviously these guys should make money from the streams. Okay, now, do they, do they really not download songs anymore? It, it's twofold. So if we're, if, we're, if we're using Nigeria as a case in point, yeah. I can understand why Nigerians would not stream or download music. I can understand that. Again, I always say it has to do with money. So iOS, Google Play, for example, where you have these songs you know, on, on these platforms for streaming and for you know, downloads and all of that. It costs money to, to subscribe. Yeah. So if if you look at the back end of most of our catalogs, you see that streaming revenue comes from all over the world except Nigeria, mm. right? So for, for the Nigerian fan, it's not, it's not as if I prefer, I, I don't want to download or I don't want to stream, I prefer to go and watch, but we have a buoyant market that makes it possible for you to see your artist on TV, I mean, I mean on stage. Sure. So, if it, it, so, it, we, it's better. I think for the fan, they prefer the experience than just listening to yeah. music on the phone or yeah. on TV, on radio, you know, whatever. Yeah. So they just prefer the experience. But if it's streaming, trust me, there are a lot of there's a, there's a huge market for Nigerian music in the USA. Huge, like mm -hmm. we've not even tapped into it yet. Forget what we're seeing now. That's oh. just the tip of the iceberg okay. because we're still in the process of understanding how to crack that market. The dynamics. No, it's not, we're just touching, we're just scratching the surface. All right, now market. let's go, let's go into, just, just a moment, okay. please. Okay. Okay. Uh, we understand that management, you know, are responsible or is responsible, you know, in getting endorsement for their artists just to keep them going, keep the, you know, career being, you know, funded and all yeah. that. What are those factors that you, for example, if you run a management company, what are those factors you consider before getting endorsement deal or contract for your artist? Because I know artists don't go out to get the things. Yes. That's why they're signed on those labels. Yes. Mm, yes. What are those factors? Yes, but, but okay, so for that, I'll tell you that it's, it's in two ways. You know, sometimes brands come to you and tell you... You, the artist? No, the, 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 the management team. Okay. You know, so, I mean, you're always the first point of contact. Sure. So the, the brands come to you and tell you they want to work on a certain project or on, on their brand with 
your artist, you know, then if it aligns with, first of all, does it even align with how you view? Is your, it brand fit? Yeah, how you view your artist. If it aligns, then you have a conversation. Um, if, 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 on the other hand, there's another way you, you can go about it as a management team, you know, so I always tell people that sometimes there are a lot of brands out there that don't know you're open for business. Why is that so? No, this is, this is what I mean. So I, I see management or music business as a corporation. So you, you, you imagine, just have an imaginary office. If you don't tell the world that you're ready for business, nobody's going to walk through that door. True. That's Nobody true. will come. So, you, so how do you so, announce yourself? No, no, I mean, so, so we have informal meetings, you have contacts that you tap into and all of that. So you have to tell... A to tell B. No, I'm open for business. <laughs> you want to endorse me or you want to endorse my, my clients? Oh, okay. Sometimes you have to have that conversation because okay. they don't it's even know that... It's a deliberate that. act. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, well, so more often than not, it has to be a deliberate act. But there are some that will come to you and you have that conversation. If it works, it works. All if right, it doesn't, no, so having that conversation and unlike where there's no personal touch, if, if any of them tells me no, I can still come back and say, that thing you're telling me, and I cannot even hear it too. This is what, you know, you, you know, kidding? yeah, you and know, that kind of thing. Because there's a, this bond, yeah. you know, this family so sometimes, values and all so that. So sometimes the trick is, you might even bring something to the table, one of them will agree, then I will say no. Wow. Yeah. So, so how do you get that? When I say, okay, you, yeah, you have agreed, right? Okay. okay so <laughs> let's keep you here. We'll now work on the other one. So you have to now go and say, you. This thing I was saying the other time, how far? Which of them, you know, I don't want to call them. I don't want to call them. I don't want to call them. No, no. So, no. Have to, have to so now I'll tell you, okay, she may have agreed. Don't worry. Bring it to me. I'll go and convince him. Like, don't worry, you know. So, so eh, oh yeah. So, all right. So, what people see is, at the end of the day, what people see is, you know, just the, the product. The product. Yeah. But the things that happen behind the scenes. Nobody knows. Now, before we wrap up on the show, please, yeah. why is it that we, for some time now, we've been having artists who don't, you know, keep to agreement when it comes to performance. You know, they, they get paid for shows. Either they come late or they don't show up at all. And sometimes very, very unapologetic. Superstardom gets to certain people in different ways. Mm -hmm. So I like, I like an artist that remembers his humble beginnings, mm -hmm. you know, where there was a time you were craving this attention. There was a time you were begging people to book you for shows. There was a time you were wondering why you were not booked for shows. Mm. So if you can always remember that, if you can always remember these things, it would help you, no matter how big you become, it would just help you stay true to yourself first and to your fans next. So I like to tell artists that if you find yourself in a space where you've become this all-conquering you know, figure, it's not, it's not by your making, really, because the way it comes, it can go like that. True. The, 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 there's a popular saying, um, talent is not enough. There has to be that application Character. and dedication. So talent is not enough. So you have, you, you have situations where the artist would believe that, again, it's a Nigerian thing. If you do it in Nigeria, nothing will, really nothing will happen, to be mm -hmm. honest. You come late for events. You know you're coming late because you know half the people will be late. You know it. Wow. You're coming late for an event, you know the, the call time 8 p.m. Nobody nobody's on stage till midnight. It's even it's even the way we we train ourselves in Nigeria. So you, you now go outside the country and have that mistake of thinking, oh, no, nothing's gonna happen. Let me just do what I have to do and go. So how so do they compensate? We, we, do they don't, compensate? we don't we don't we don't we don't have much time. We don't have much very quickly, how yeah. do they compensate some of those messes they create out there? I've never experienced it with my brand. So. All right. Okay. So for me, okay. right. my right. final question. <laughs> on, on that note, on that note, please, on that note, we'll be calling it a day. Thank you so much, Mr. Raji Show, for being Thank on the you. show. Thank I you. I know we'll always me. have you back again yeah, most definitely. to give us more most information definitely. about this. Most definitely. Well, that's our offering for you today, and we do hope you've enjoyed today's episode of the show. If by any means you missed this week's episode of the program, you can catch a repeat broadcast on our YouTube channel at iBrand TV. So we'll copy away same time next week. I am Joshua Okata. And I am Samuel Okata. Bye for now.